Now friends, let's talk about few problems based on the concepts that we have done till now. The first problem, a very simple one, we have been given a urn which contains 9 balls of which 3 are red, 4 are blue, 2 are green, 3 balls are drawn at random without replacement from the urn. The probability that the 3 balls have different colors is what? I think this is a very simple and straightforward question we have, right? So, what we can do? We can just have a look at this part, the sample space. So there are how many balls? We have 9 balls, 3 balls have been drawn, right? If I'm talking about the event, what is the event we have? Yes, we have uh, 3C1, we have 4C1 and we have, you know, 2C1, right? This is what we have. Now, if I'm talking about the probability of E, so this is coming out to be, yes, because this is 3 into 4 into 2, which is 24, right? And 9C3 is 84 we have. So 24 divided by 84 we are talking about, right? Now, this is nothing but we can just uh, take 12, 2 and this is uh, 7, yes, right? So this is coming out to be 2 upon 7. So this is the final answer we are having, right? Now, let me go to the next question now. We have two different numbers which are taken from the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 10, right? So, then the probability that there's some as well as the absolute difference are both multiples of 4, right? So, that means you can just see the problem here. Again, a sure shot problem we have, right? We are talking about the probability that there's some as well as the absolute difference we are talking about. This is always a multiple of 4. Got it? So, first of all, how many elements we have? How many numbers we have within the sample space? We have 11 numbers. So, what we have? We have the sample space to be 11 C 2, right? Two numbers we have taken out. Now, if I can write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can just have 5. This is 6, this is 7, this is 8, this is 9, this is 10, suppose, right? This is what we are talking about, isn't it? Then we have 0, we have 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Can you see that? Now, you can just have a look at it, how the numbers can be selected, whose sum is and as well as the absolute difference is multiple of 4, right? So, yes, this is 0, 4 can be one of those conditions we can have, whose sum and the absolute difference is always a multiple of 4. So, 0, 4 we can take, isn't it? This is a pair which is to be considered. Then we can take 0, 8 also, right? So, what we can take? The other elements. Other elements can be like, we can take 4, 8, right? Again, if you take 4 minus 8 and 4 plus 8, both are multiple of 4, right? So, what we can have? We can have uh, 2 comma 6 also. We can take 2 comma 10, right? And uh, we can take 6 comma 10 also, isn't it? This is, these are the 6 cases we have, right? So, that means we are talking about 6 upon 55 because 11 C2 is 55, right? So, you can just have a look at it, do the calculation. Now, let's talk about this problem. You have been given three events A, B and C where probability of exactly one of A or B occurs is equal to probability of exactly one of B or C occurs is equal to probability of exactly one of C or A occurs is equal to 1 by 4. And we have probability of all the three events occur simultaneously is 1 upon 16, right? So, Yes, if I talk about the event part, so you can just have a look at it. What do we have? So basically, I'm talking about, say, if we have been given two events, the concept is exactly A or exactly B. So if I'm talking about exactly A or exactly B, I'm talking about this part, right? Isn't it? So, if I am talking about this zone and this zone and we have to find the probability 
of exactly A or exactly B, it means I am talking about P A, right, minus of P A intersection B. Can you see that? Plus P B minus of P A intersection B, isn't it? This is what we have, the first case and this is the case 1. And this is nothing but we have P A plus P B minus of 2 P A intersection B, right. So, this is given to us. Now, let us see how it works now. So, this is given to you as 1 by 4, got it? Direct problem we can just write, we can write 1 by 4 again this is for P B and this is for C. So, you can see here this is twice of P b intersection c we have right then we have 1 by 4 this is coming out to be p a plus p c minus of twice of p a intersection c we have right and we have been asked to find the probability of at least one of the events that means we have to find probability of a union b union c isn't it this is what we have to find that means we are talking about probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C, right? And then we have minus of probability of A intersection B minus probability of B intersection C, right? Minus probability of A intersection C plus probability of A intersection B intersection C. Can you see that? So, if you see here, if I take this as equation number 1, this is equation number 2, this is equation number 3 we have, got it? Now, we add all the three terms. So, suppose we add 1 plus 2 plus 3, right? So, what do we have? We can just write P A plus P B plus P C, right? And this is coming out to be, so we can just add it. So, this comes out to be twice of this, right? And then again, minus of twice, we have this part that is P A intersection B, right? And this is P B intersection C, right? Then we have P A intersection C, isn't it? And this is coming out to be, this is already, you know, we have written this. So, this is 3 by 4 we have, right? So, if I take common here, okay? So, what we have? We have P A plus P B plus P C minus of P A intersection B minus of P B intersection C, right? And then we have my dear students minus of P A intersection C, right? Which is again, we have this is equal to how much? We have 3 upon 8. So, what we can do? We can just substitute 3 upon 8 here right this part right so if i take here 3 by 8 so 3 by 8 plus 1 upon 16 can you see that this is already given to us so 16 can be taken as an lcm this is yes we have 2 this is coming out to be 6 this is plus 1 which is 7 upon 16 we have right so you can see here the first one is the correct option we have. So, hopefully, this is clear to you.